Video editing is getting more and more popular as more people are switching to online businesses and social medias every single day. But most people have no clue where to start or even edit their projects. So I'm going to show you what you need to start video editing in 2023. Let's do this. So before anything, you obviously need an editing software. There's plenty of video editing softwares out there, and one of the best ones is even free, but I'll get to that very soon. You don't always need to start out with the best of the best, you just need a software to make a start and get used to editing. Now there is one free software called DaVinci Resolve, which is by far the best free software. Even some Hollywood editors use this software, so I never want to hear any excuses about I can't edit because it's too expensive. Now if you want a paid software, I really recommend Premiere Pro, that's what I use and personally think it's the best out there. Now about the actual editing, something important you should do is just import the footage and just practice. Literally just get a feel for editing, get a feel for the software and just practice for at least an hour a day. There is no doubt this will help with your video editing skills. Now a very important tip is to organise your video files and timelines strategically. Organising your video files is the same feeling as tidying up your room and you just get that relief. I can't stress this enough, you have to make sure your video files are properly stored and this goes for the timeline organisation too. Make sure you're keeping your timeline nice and tidy. This is how I have my timeline. I have the main clip first, then the music below it, then the voiceovers below the music, then sound effects below the voiceovers and then adjustment layers, effects and text on top of the clip. Now if you only plan on video editing and editing only, like me, I really recommend using a Mac instead of a PC. It's seriously the best change I've ever made since I've started video editing. Mac is just so much better than PC as it's, well, actually built for video editing and working. Now for gear. To create original content, you should definitely consider investing in a good quality camera and a decent external microphone for clear audio recording. I know plenty of amazing microphones for a low budget and still have crispy audio quality. If you want to get steady shots, a tripod or gimbal stabilizer for your camera or smartphone is essential too. Okay, so one of the best things I could have ever done to learn video editing faster was to watch other professional video editors and analyze their videos and try in implement it into my own editing. Just try and watch as many content creators, video editors, filmmakers, any successful editors and try and learn some tricks to improve your editing. If your content involves some sort of narration or dialogue, work on script writing skills to create engaging and informative content. I write a script every single time I do a video so it's not boring and I know exactly what to say to make it entertaining. You should also try and hook your audience during the intro. Start with a compelling hook or introduction to grab the viewer's attention within the first few seconds. Pose a question, share an interesting fact or create curiosity to make the viewer want to stay throughout the whole video. Now I could go into a whole other video on how to speed up your workflow during the actual editing process but for now that would take too long so I'll just tell you one simple thing. Make sure you learn as many keyboard shortcuts as possible so you don't have to keep manually pressing the tools and other buttons. This is very very important as editing can be a really time consuming task. If you would like to see a video on how to speed up your editing process, let me know in the comments. Now a very important thing you should remember is, don't drag your video on for too long. YouTube video analytics over the years have shown a dramatic decrease in users attention spans as people can only watch for so long. And by that, I mean 3-6 to six minutes. I'm not joking when I say this, it's been proven that more and more kids are getting severe ADHD. Who knows where this will lead in the future? But to be honest, I'm pretty scared, and I think TikTok is a part of this. I mean seriously, that app needs to be banned ASAP. What I'm trying to say here is don't let your video drag for too long. Keep it nice and short and get straight to the point. Now the last tip I want to give you is to just have patience and persistence. Building a successful YouTube channel takes time and a lot of effort. Don't get discouraged if you don't see immediate results. Keep learning and adapting and eventually you will become a video editing pro.